Hey, welcome to my channel. In this uh, little short video series of maybe four or five videos, uh, I'm going to show you how to build your own stone guard or a rock guard for the front of your RV or your travel trailer. Now, doing a little research online, trying to find one of these is like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Uh, it seems like nobody makes them, and if they do, you have to buy the trailer to uh, actually have a stone guard. So, the closest one I could find online was for about $800 for a complete setup, which was way out of my budget. So, I decided that we're going to build one, and we're going to make one out of fiberglass, and we'll have all the hardware and setup, and it'll be a, a really nice looking piece. So, if you'll stay tuned and watch the videos, you'll be able to build your own stone guard for the front of your RV without any problems and it's gonna look fabulous so hope you tune in watch the videos pick up some hints and tips and create your own stone guard for your RV like we're about ready to do for ours so what we're gonna need to do is measure our window and I'm gonna come right to the edge of the frame and measure to the other side and take that measurement. This is currently 49 and a half inches from the edge of the frame on this side to the edge of the frame on the other side. And then I'm going to take a measurement from the top down to the bottom, which I have about 23 and a quarter from the top of this frame to the bottom. So that's my overall size of the window. And I want my uh, fiberglass rock guard to be about an inch and a half wider on each side top and bottom which means I'm going to take my measurements and I'm going to add three inches to the side and three inches to the top. So now we're moving on the inside here in the garage. This is where we're going to uh, put everything together to create a mold to make our fiberglass part and uh, then we'll be able to pull that out and we'll be able to uh, fasten the hardware and put it onto the trailer. So to get started we're going to need a pretty much a base. So I do have the overall size of the window frame. We added three inches to the to the height and to the width. And then for my mold, I also added three inches all the way around. And this is going to be my platform in which we're going to build a mold. Now as we move along, this stuff will start making sense to you. But uh, I'm just going to show you how we're getting started here. And then uh, we'll talk our way through it as we work. So remember, our window frame is 49 and a half inches from edge of frame to edge of frame. We added three inches so we can get the overall width and height for our fiberglass piece that we're going to be making. So with, uh, with our tape here at the edge, we end up at 52 and a half inches. This will be the beginning of the mold. So I do have it laid out how I want to uh, make the uh, cutout and basically the corners on the window on the trailer are about a four inch radius and then when we oversize it an inch and a half all the way around our radius now is five and a half inches so I have uh, our wood marked out and we're gonna cut this piece out and we'll basically have a window frame and I have three inches around uh, each side here. And then what we will end up doing is we'll begin layering this. So I want my part to be about an inch and a half uh, deep when, when it's all said and done. So I need to build this up to about an inch and three quarter. And then once we get the fiberglass laid, we can, we can trim it down to the right thickness or the right height. So we'll be uh, adding layers on here, building the edge up, and we'll be leaving a hole here in the center, and that will be our, our mold. So this is the beginning stage. We have our piece of plywood here, particle board, and the reason I'm using particle board is because the particle board is very flat and very smooth. So if I was using plywood, plywood has different layers and uh, the fibers in the, in the wood itself, once you heat those up, 
uh, with the laminate, those fibers begin to raise and lower. So when our part comes out, it might be a little wavy. With the particle board, it's nice and flat, so when the part comes out, it should be nice and flat and not have any of the wood grain pattern transferring through to the fiberglass piece. And I might, might laminate it over a piece of wood to show you what I'm talking about. But anyway, we're going to have a base. We'll have our piece cut out that will set on the base. And then we'll put another piece, another piece, and another piece until we build up the height of our mold. Basically, just like a cake pan. Think of it like a cake pan. I am going to make a cake pan before we make the cake. That's the, uh, that's the analogy we'll use. So, uh, I've got all my wood cut for the dimension that I needed. Remember, I added three inches to the, to the uh, length of this and six inches for the flange for our mold, uh, giving, giving us a total of 58 and a half inches. And same with the height, 23 and a half, or excuse me, 23 and a quarter uh, plus the inch and a half gave me 26 and a quarter plus six. We're at 32 and a quarter inches. So that's gonna be our wooden frame. We'll build it up, we'll make a mold, and uh, we'll do a little filling with some Bondo. We'll sand everything down, we'll get it primered, and then we'll begin to gel coat, lay in the fiberglass, and uh, before you know it, we'll pull out a part and we'll have a stone guard that we can put on the front of our window uh, to protect that thing so we don't shatter it. All right, to start out, we uh, need to cut our hole out here. So for that, I've got my Porter cable with a 3 8 inch bit inside, which will give me the uh, width I need for my quarter cable jigsaw. And uh, we're going to drill a hole, and then we'll begin to slowly cut around the edge as close to the line as we can, and as straight as we can. Now, you might be really good at a skill saw and be able to cut these straight lines. I'm not good at a skill saw, so we're going to use what works best for me. But Either way, you got your piece of plywood, you've got your area marked out, and now we need to cut this out. So let's get this cut out. Okay, so now, with our piece cut out, that will be the size, the cut out here, that will be the size of our fiberglass part. So now I've got this piece, I also have another piece of plywood laying down, that becomes the base that we will be fastening our uh, top layers here on, and we'll build up so we get that nice depth for our, uh, for our mold. So we'll be attaching this piece to the base and we'll also be adding a couple more layers of pieces on top. And then for that, since we already have a, a nice base that's got a nice cut out around it, the pieces that we fasten on top we'll just uh, oversize a little bit and once we get those fastened on then we can just take a router and uh, router it to this edge so we have a nice 90 degree uh, side here and all the all the edges are going to be the same so that is how we're going to start out with our project making our own fiberglass stone guard or rock guard whatever you like to call it so now the next step is to get our other pieces on and get the shape of our mold and then we can move on to the next step Okay, so we've got our base, we've got our uh, cutout that's going to be for our shape of our mold. Now we need to start adding layers on here to get the depth that we need. So I've got another piece cut. I'm going to lay a little bead of glue around here just so things don't move. I'll put it back on and then I'm going to staple it on. Then I'm going to take a router and we're going to cut this out and then we'll finish off the rest and then we'll add another layer and build up that depth that we need for our mold. And just a, just a little quick bead 
That's all we need. staples just to keep that in place and then we'll uh, continue. Alright, so now that we've got this piece fastened on, before we fasten this piece we're just going to take a router and we're going to go ahead and cut this piece out and uh, set that aside. So piece by piece we're just going to raise this up. Let's get started. So we create a little bit of a dust, but we have a nice, uh, nice clean edge here that we router out all the way around, and now we start to get some thickness to our mold. Right now we're at an inch, and we want to be about an inch and three quarters. So I still have one more piece to lay on top of this, and I'll also router that out, and then we can fasten this on our base. So I won't bore you with uh, showing you each cut but that's what we're going to do so we have our our main board that's cut out we laid that down then we put another piece of board over it we router that edge because we know that the inside edge here is really good and uh, we'll put a piece on the end here and we'll router that one out then we'll put another layer and do the same process and then we can fasten it to the base and we pretty much have our mold and then we'll be ready for some finishing finishing touches. So let's go ahead and get all that knocked out and then uh, show you the uh, whole thing sitting on the base. Okay, so now that we have all of our pieces cut and uh, fastened together, we basically have nothing but a large picture frame. So our next step will be attach our base to our frame here and that will give us uh, pretty much our mold, the shape that we need. So let me give you a shot of what I've done and then uh, move forward. So what we're going to end up with is our base plywood here. I have three layers of half inch and that gives me my inch and a half depth that I want and then I added a quarter inch on the on the top which will actually be the bottom as a little bit of spacer so when we pull our part out we'll be able to trim it down a little bit because our overall finish of our part will be about an inch and a half so I uh, fastened the quarter inch plywood all the way around on top here and routed that out nice and neat so next thing to do is to flip this over put a little bit of glue down on our base and attach the frame here to our base and we'll just let that set up and that will give us uh, pretty much the shape of our mold that we need. We'll just take a pencil here real quick, outline the edge so I, I know where my glue line is going to be. We'll lift this up, spread a little bit of glue put it down, throw a couple clamps on it, and then we'll run some staples under from the bottom, just enough to hold it in place, and then uh, this part will be finished. Okay, so now that we've got everything clamped up, we've got a little bit of glue on here to hold things in place, and uh, now we're ready to fasten the base to our frame, so we'll go ahead and run some staples in from underneath, and we'll talk about what's coming up next. All right, so we have everything cut, we have everything routered to give us a shape, we have the base attached, and I'm going to leave the clamps set up overnight and uh, let the glue set and then we can take those off. So what is our next process after this? So the next thing that we need to do is we need to fare the sides just a little bit with some Bondo. 
and uh, right now all the sides are at a 90 degree angle to the base and when you're making a mold and pulling the part out it's uh, not desirable to have 90 degree sides because as you pull the part out it begins to bind and it makes it very difficult to get the piece that you just made out of your mold. So what we need to do, instead of having the sides 90 degrees, we need to angle those just a little bit. So we'll be making a little bit of a template and then we'll add some Bondo to the side and we'll pull that around with a little bit of a radius on the bottom and that way it'll give us some draft so when we go to pull our part out uh, it'll pull out with ease instead of have to work it out and fight it out and possibly damaging the part that you just made. So that's going to be our next video is showing you how that we fare the sides, get a nice radius at the bottom and why, and then a couple of little extras that we're going to throw in there, what we're going to do to get this prepped so we can begin to make our part so we can make our own stone guard. So at this point, I'd like to say uh, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, and as always, stay tuned.